What is up, my gorgeous friend? I'm Amy Thompson, the Sun Tarot, and I'm so glad you're here. I have to confess something though. I was very, very resistant to do this video. Um, my energy, I was kind of like walking around, not like I just, I wanted to get it out, but I didn't really want to. And in case you're wondering what this particular video is, I'm channeling something that is about, if you've got any resistance to salespeople, uh, specifically, if you think that salespeople are cheats, liars, manipulators, and they're only self-serving. Okay, so that, that's something that came up for me because I actually had gone through some experiences and uh, one of them in particular was quite traumatic and it involved someone who was quite adept at lying and manipulating and cheating and just I, I was upset with myself because I had fallen for such trickery, okay? And it was, it took me a long time, long time to discover it. But what was interesting that I didn't realize was this story about salespeople was created in my mind at that time and then it impacted my sales. So I wanna bring it up because I know that if this is relevant for you, say you either are a salesperson, right? or say that you want to have better relationships with people who may be salespeople, or maybe you want to learn sales, or maybe, you know, there's all kinds of reasons for you wanting to watch this video. But as much as I could try to logically understand things, I'm gonna see what Spirit has to say, because I thought if I was gonna go through, like go inward and heal for this myself, I thought, well, why not bring it to you and other people who may need it and see what we come up with, right? So as I'm letting go of my own resistance, like this is my resistance. This is like stuff that I've got built up inside me, but I'm sure as I channel, it's gonna start to come out, okay? I am bringing in the Mirror Oracle. So this is the first time I will have ever used this one in a reading, I'm excited. I also have some of my Affirming Arts cards. Like these are some of the, these are actually some of my own artwork and things. Um, and these are all positive affirmations, okay? So I'm just letting you know I'm gonna bring in something at some point in this reading about that. And it's just gonna be me reading something that comes in when I'm being led to. And then I have a lot of other uh, decks in front of me as you can see. All right, so um, let's get into it, all right? Now, the question specifically is gonna be what, what do you need to clear any resistance or negative stories between yourself, salespeople, or your perception of salespeople, okay? And selling in general. Now this one's the Pleasure Oracle deck. For some reason I was called to start with it. It is not always appropriate, okay? Sometimes like, sometimes it can be a little taboo. So just, uh, I was gonna say, deal with it in a way. Um, not meaning to be rude, but when I'm doing this, I will just say whatever is coming to me in the moment. Already. So anyways, I'm gonna pull several cards. Like when I said several, I'm getting way more than I was anticipating. But there are several people watching this reading and chances are I have messages for you. Um, yeah, basically when it comes to readings like this, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Like you know your life, you know your situation, you know what you've been through. Um, and there are gonna be some things in this reading that resonate, but because I'm doing it for everyone, there may be more things in here and not everything's relevant to you, okay? So, anything else? All right, what's needed to be able to clear this resistance and these stories that no longer serve you or are holding you back, okay? Gosh, I wanted to go for that deck again. But, okay, this one, anything else? This one. Okay, so I think that this is good enough to start with. Um, no, there's one more thing. You will notice if you ever like join my readings that I do read things if it's left or right or it's on an angle. It's like I don't usually fix the orientation of things because I interpret things at different different times for different levels. Okay, that one's supposed to be this way though. As I just happened to say it, I just put it down wrong. All right, you got time to ripen in inverse. Okay, so I can already tell that this story and stuff is really holding you back from being able to 
uh, achieve the level of success that you want. It's like, um, I live in grape country. I live in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows where that is, but it's right by Niagara Falls. And there's certain times of year that we have harvests. And this is just basically telling me it's like, it's time for you to be able to reap harvest, but there's blocks in the way so you can't. You can't at this point get the rewards that are there for you because there's a block with you actually getting to go through the, uh, I'm like the chemical changes, but these are mental changes and physical changes and things. You got divine imperfection in inverse, okay? Be a body in inverse, and I'll tell you what all of these things mean after, okay? Uh, sharpen your erotic intelligence in inverse. At the top here, you got be proud of yourself. I'm having a hard time picking this one up. Okay, just trust me it's there because I can't seem to pick it up. It's um, be proud of yourself, last quarter moon in Taurus. You got the full moon in Pisces, forgive. You got the father to the left. And so in this card, there's a skeleton and he's got a baby in his arms and he's reaching up and it looks like he's actually grabbing it looks like he's touching the star or grabbing it or maybe it's like uh, as if the stars were like on a mobile or something and he's you know maybe he's getting a star for his baby uh, you got the black phoenix rebirth green space in inverse which is setting boundaries say what you feel upright black dragon light in the darkness in inverse there are several other cards but I'm not gonna get into them right now okay I'm gonna start with this one What I'm getting is that this is a journey about you and not anybody else. It's like um, recognizing for you, you deserve good things. You deserve nice things. You deserve to be uh, cherished and loved, right? And I'm getting that whatever it is that has had you have this block and this perception, maybe people, maybe you didn't go through anything traumatic. Maybe people just said things to you and you're like, oh no, I can't, I can't be that person or I can't do that person. Or maybe you've seen movies that have shifted your perception or reality around people that do sales or or um, closing like that, right? So um, the the message for you right off the bat is like really take stock in who you are because your biggest selling feature is going to be the values that you bring to the table, right? So if you have values that are different from say the ones that you've seen or the ones that you you've experienced those are the ones that you need to bring to the forefront of your mind. You see, everything exists inside your mind right now, right? You've got the positive stories, the negative stories, whatnot, but it's like taking stock in those, those powerful, um, oh my goodness, so many words coming through right now. Um, and there's something that keeps trying to push through right now for me to tell you. It's like, you've met quotas before. You may not feel like you've met them, but you've met things, you've exceeded them. And it doesn't matter what I mean by quota. It could be goals. It could be like any kind of goal or target or objective that you've set. It's like you have gone through experiences where you've even surpassed those things. So whatever is in this space of you having the results that you want or even stepping into the power that you have, like maybe you're timid. Maybe, maybe you feel you don't have enough time. Maybe you're held back by some kind of circumstances or concerns. The key for you with everything is to really take stock in your accomplishments and um, not to not to showcase them and not to like it's not even about other people it's just like for you to think back and you don't need to go through the extent of making a journal and all of these things but it's like really just get present to these things and own your stuff right like own who you are and what you've accomplished and what you've achieved it doesn't matter how old you were or, you know, like everybody fails, everybody fails, everybody misses targets, everybody, you know, it's what you see that is going to be shaping your reality. So you can look at these jerk things that people have done, or you can look at these good things that people have done, because I, I guarantee you've also had pleasurable sales experiences before and pleasurable experiences with people who are salespeople. And maybe you've been somebody who has really helped people in sales. Maybe, maybe you are somebody who, like here's something I went through, okay? I went through being afraid of 
be, being somebody who could manipulate. It's like I have the ability to manipulate, like I really do. If you were to look at my human design chart, I should be very masterful in it. And I know when I grew up, I was told by people many times, you know, that I, I manipulated things and I couldn't understand. Like I honestly, I could not understand because I was just trying to make things work, right? But understanding that other people have different perceptions of what, like they're not in your mind. And so being very tactful and being very much in the other person's world, it's like, well, let's look at what they really want and let's just have conversations to help them with what they really want. So I've dedicated my life to becoming someone who is honest, ethical, and who is really, it sounds kind of weird, but I'm, I'm out, a uh, couple things, I'm out to prove that you can do very well and have good morals and ethics. Um, because I saw a lot of lack of that with people. And it's interesting, I'm doing this reading and I'm opening up and being vulnerable, right? But, uh, but it's like I have now met some people who have the best morals and ethics and they are so successful, it's incredible. So where I used to think, and I've seen, I've seen a lot of jackasses and things that I kind of look at them and I'm like, how can you even sleep at night? But yet they're abundant and they have pretty much anything they want. And I'm like, I just shake my head. I don't really, I never really got it. But this, this reading here is really like, it's, a, it's not about them. It's about, it's about you. It's about me. Like it's about us as we are. It's about the lessons and the power and the strength that we have within us. Right? So, I mean, maybe those people, they're just very present to the power that they have within them. Maybe it's got nothing to do with a deserving factor or not, right? So are you present to the power that's within you? Are you clear on what values you have and what values you bring to the table and things that you will not sacrifice and how you can show up for yourself in every situation? Because the other thing is if you're not showing up for yourself in every situation as who you are, who you authentically are, it's almost like building on a an unstable foundation okay it's like you can have things it's gonna be great but at some point things are gonna fall apart because you're not building on on truth and ethics the other thing with this is the greater your your spiritual awareness happens the more karma plays a part right and I think sometimes that these other people they just haven't developed themselves spiritually now part of that uh, had me questioning like do I want to develop myself spiritually I mean in one sense, it can be the most fulfilling thing in the entire world, uh, which actually it can definitely be. Um, but on the other hand, it's like if you, as at every level of your spiritual growth, it's almost like there are different, like the spiritual laws that come in, they're not as lenient on you as you, as you go through them, right? And if you look at people who are really seasoned and they've they've developed something and they've developed into like really great people as well as having having the success, they have been through things and they have learned a lot of these spiritual truths, um, often the hard way, but they often will have to go through the lessons. Actually, when I say often, I mean, everybody's gotta go through the lessons until the lessons are learned. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. What lessons have you gone through? regarding anything to do with um, sales, salespeople, perception of sales, perception of salespeople, being someone who's been sold to, like what things have you gone through and what stories have you created around that, okay? I got off on a major tangent, but I'm gonna pull this all together. Um, so you got via body and inverse. You didn't know, your brain is your body and your body is your brain. To process your emotions from desirous longing to heartbreak, you must get present in your body. That means finding your center of gravity, trusting your breath to nourish you, and feeling all of your sensations. Research somatic centering practices to guide you. Okay, so one of the keys for you to be able to, I'm, I'm gonna say absorb and allow the energy that's from the experiences so that you can really just like let it in and let it flow. You're not held back by these stories anymore. 
um, is to pay attention to where things show up in your body. Like I was doing this exercise in one of my coaching calls. Like when I, when I coach people, I also make sure that I go through things with people. It's like, if I'm going to lead somebody, I want to be the example, right? So we were going through an exercise that actually had me discover this, right? Um, but when I, when I discovered it, that I had this block around sales and who I was as a salesperson and who everyone was as a salesperson, I felt it very deep in my solar plexus area, which is where your authority, your power, your money, and all of that, uh, that's like the center of your, in your body. That's the center for that in your chakra system. And so I was like, okay, this is great. And you know, with, with some other people, uh, we ended up, like we were offering to support each other to be able to clear these things. And I said, no, I don't want this one cleared yet. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one for you to do this, okay? So you can take a second right now and you can just tune into your body. And instead of just feeling that story, feel whatever areas of your body just jump out where there may be any kind of like energy stored or any kind of feeling that doesn't feel like everything flows. Maybe there's some pains, maybe there's some, um, yeah, just anywhere where you feel like some kind of block. Now, when I did that, I felt like right here for some reason and on my thigh, which are two areas that I don't normally feel these, but wherever you feel it, there's gonna be some kind of story with that, some kind of belief. And you can, you can get rid of stories also through tapping, which I can link a video uh, in the description just in case you, you're unaware of what tapping is. Um, but you can also just ask yourself, it's like, okay, well, what is this? What do I need to release? What is this trying to tell me? And um, one of the things that I like to do for energy clearing is I will literally just, it's almost like Reiki. <laughs> if you know anything about Reiki also, I could put some links to videos in there, but, um, but it's like, you can actually draw the energy out of you by, um, yeah, by touching on the area and envisioning the energy flowing. You can feel if it's flowing or not. Like it may feel blocked, in which case tapping is awesome to do, um, but it may be flowing. I, and I did not expect this reading to go like this at all, <laughs> okay? So um, apparently one of the ways to clear this is to do some energy work on yourself. Um, there's lots of great videos on YouTube and you can also um, hire people as well. I do not do that, okay, just so you know. Like I might work with somebody when I'm working with them just because it comes up, but, uh, but that's not where my focus is. Okay, next one, sharpen your erotic intelligence. So erotic intelligence, coined by Dr. Esther Perel, means valuing and cherishing your excitement more than you value and cherish the rules. It means seeking the sublime in everyday, would-be mundane moments. It means transcending the ordinary through the imagination. Okay, it is, this is an opportunity for you to write your own story, okay? Your own story has to come from your core essence. You remember how I said, like, really get in touch with who you are and what you bring to the table? But that what you bring to the table isn't just what other people would consider your credentials and things, right? What you bring to the table are your unique kind of styles and qualities and things like that. For example, this here, I just got this. Isn't it cute? Um, you might not think so, but I was going to get a bookshelf and I was going to you put my awards on there and put my certificates and all my credentials and the books I've written and, you know, blah, 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 right? But one, I couldn't find the kind of shelf I was looking for. And then I was in the dollar store and I saw this, I saw this and it's a map of the world and it's cartoons, right? But like, it's just little drawings, right? But I would so much rather have something like this because I love to, I love to travel, love it so much. Second, this is something that I can do with people in my life. And third, and most importantly, I don't like seeing all my, my stuff and my awards and things like that. It's like, somebody asked me if this was a block, but it's not actually a block. Um, I mean, I, I get where it came from, but I am actually much happier with little quirky things around because that's who I am and I enjoy it. Yeah, am I a smarty pants? Yes, yes I am. Yes, have I achieved things? Yes, yes I have. Um, but same thing, it's like when I meet somebody, 
somebody gives me their credentials and I'm not meaning to be rude. Okay. I'm really not, but I don't care. It's like, I admire and, and I admire greatly that they've put themselves into this training and they have achieved these results because I know what it takes to do those things. Right. But it doesn't tell me who they are as a person, you know, and I want to get to know who they are as a person. So I kind of feel like if you see in the background, oh, you've got this award and you've got this certificate and you've, you know, you've worked for these companies and all this other stuff, right? If you see all of that, you're going to assume from my wall that that's what my life is. Now, I mean, these, these are not just what my life is. Like this is my planning and my key performance indicators, right? So that I can keep track of everything every day. Um, but this is something fun. And then on this wall here, I'm going to have a mural that every, like, I haven't decided what to put there exactly, but, um, when people come over, they're going to get a chance to paint something on my wall, right? So that it becomes like a community mural of, of people in my life. And frankly, the people in my life and the things I get to create with them is more important to me than my accomplishments. The reason that applies to you is because there's going to be things that are important to you that you need to showcase. Um, and there's going to be things that you deep down don't really care that much about and you th you're doing just because you think you need to be doing them. Right? So it's separating those so you can be in your unique power and then you can start to appreciate what others bring to the table. Right? Because there's a lot of people who are all going around trying to be what they're not because they're impressing other people or, um, you know, they've got some kind of objective. It's fine to have objectives and it's fine to impress people, but it's also in my personal opinion, something that is good to bring your own values to and make sure that the values align and make sure that, um, the people that you're working with and working for and looking to serve, making sure that you're doing it in a way that serves their values, right? If you're having somebody and you're in some kind of interaction and it ends up going against their values, what kind of like, are you really that great? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So anyways, uh, next thing, divine intervention. Oops, I said that wrong, but there's probably a reason. Um, divine imperfection. Yeah, so definitely don't worry about getting things right. Uh, your need to have, like, your need to do this well and get better and improve all the time has actually been one of the biggest blocks for your success with this because you see some people and they are so successful and you're like, what the heck? And you're thinking, oh, I'm doing everything right or I'm getting the training or you know, I'm doing what I think I should do, but you got to, um, like the faster you can embrace that you don't know what you're doing, the better it's going to be. And it doesn't matter how seasoned you are because you might be somebody who like, I know everything I've got this, I've been doing this for years, but there are still things you don't know what you're doing, right? Every, everything you run into, um, is something new, slightly new. And if you're not running into things that are slightly new, then it would be a good idea for you to expand yourself and your horizons. Okay. Just for your own personal growth. And if it doesn't, if this doesn't resonate with you, then you don't need to do it. But if it's like, yeah, you know what? I want to have more, do more, be more, um, make a bigger impact. Or if you just want to see how far you can grow yourself, then, then definitely take it on. Um, okay. One of the other things, like the next biggest thing is forgive. Okay. So after you go through this, recognizing what is amazing about you and your quirks and like owning, owning it, maybe you're terrible at certain things and you think that that's your block with your sales success and whatnot. Own it. Just be like, I absolutely suck at blah, blah, blah. And you know, just the, the moment that you bring nothing to that and the moment that you just like make light of it and allow for people who know what they're doing, who enjoy that, they'll start showing up and you will have so much more freedom to be yourself and your delegation will actually start to improve as well. When you accept the things that are challenging for you, you don't like 
so you can stand more in your quirks and in your your authenticity that's gonna do so much for you okay this one here it is forgive I always feel like I have to slouch on this table like just because I'm trying to like show the card okay so in this picture there's a couple fish and they're circling the moon okay so what you need to do is you need to be looking at the the fact that you've had stories about people and salespeople and anything that's resistance around the sales process or any of the people you've ever experienced or even how you've been because maybe you're the salesperson who's actually like manipulated and lied and cheated and all that stuff and maybe you're at the time like you're at the point where you actually want to become more moral and ethical right regardless of what it is every person has like light attributes and shadow attributes and so this card is saying like forgive come from a place of seeing the full picture and looking at what like just accepting that people were where they were now do you need to embrace the fact that they were jackasses no you don't right and if it's you that was the jackass you know do you need to embrace the fact that you were the jackass actually when it comes to you you do need to do embrace and own up to whatever it is that you did even if it feels like crap because healing and elevating can feel like a crappy thing right but again to be able to go through the process it's like recognizing and seeing all the different angles and then forgiving yourself and others for anything that might have happened in this situation or just in the whole perception in the world or the collective consciousness about these ideals ideas and I said ideals okay anyways you got the father okay this one is to the left all right and they're grabbing a star and that is very very important so in the past you were reaching for the things that you thought were gonna bring you the most joy the most success and it's almost like cherry-picking right and you may actually be a literal father or a parent and you may be um, or somebody who like really cares for some kind of community um, or people so you may be thinking that you're gonna do these things for the people in your life and again this is a general reading so for some of you it was that yes you were able to choose and get the the fruits of your labor and provide for your your people provide for your loved ones now others were always trying to um, achieve it but maybe maybe you were in a role that wasn't necessarily suited for you um, maybe you were trying to get it but it seemed like no matter what you were doing it was like it was just out of reach and you couldn't quite grab that and have the success you were looking for right but regardless it was and, and by baby it could be um if you haven't had children then you can relate this to some kind of project or some kind of business or something that that it is um like a lot of people that i've worked with they were looking to um like they wanted to learn sales and closing and things like that because they wanted to get married they wanted to make sure that they were going to set up their partner or they wanted to travel the world or they wanted to do all of these these things right um so regardless of what it is it's like imagine that baby in this in this person's arms like imagine that's you and that baby in your arms is whatever it is that you were really out to nurture and protect and then so you're going out and you're grabbing the um you're grabbing the stars you're looking for the biggest shiniest objects to bring you the wealth that you can have now if it, it was uh it was something that really helped you in the beginning but over time it definitely didn't um it couldn't be consistent this part's really hard because i'm getting multiple messages okay so bear with me as i work through this this part um so for a very small portion of you you were able to mean retain remain consistent and be able to get more and more sales right because you were very very focused on the largest shining objects but for most of you guys you're reaching trying to get the big stars maybe you get some little ones periodically but you weren't really getting everything that you knew you could get and between the distraction of having the the baby or your project or anything between the distraction and trying to reach out you had a hard time balancing okay um yeah sorry sometimes when I'm reading it's like I get 
like I know there's different groups of people and I'm getting messages for different people and then so sometimes I get so many things come in that I just like I stop and I have to sit there and process like what it is everything that's going on um, okay so the good news is when you when you go through the forgiving process and recognizing your gifts and like owning it like when I say owning it it's just like this is me fully unbridled and unleashed in my communication and blah 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 right when you own who you are you're gonna have a rebirth like nothing you have ever had in your life okay this is this is a time really where forgiveness and self-love and acceptance is at the key and the cornerstone of everything that you need to do to give up any stories around justice or injustice um, and when I picked this up and I thought it was gonna be all around sales it's not just all around sales this could apply to anything in the world that you see as unfair and unjust um, and it's this is gonna be the biggest uh, it's almost like an awakening for you okay it's gonna be a very big opportunity for you to elevate your consciousness and forgive on a massive scale like and your results like your financial results as well as your physical health and vitality are going to improve immensely okay so you've got green space setting boundaries in inverse but what's interesting about this is like setting boundaries would usually be you setting boundaries in this case it's like you actually removing some boundaries because you don't have to protect yourself so much because you are in your like you are in your truth and your power and so when you're in that place the people that do not resonate with you they do not even enter your field anymore they might cross your thoughts periodically but you're in a place where you can just let that go you can just be like yep not not for me um, and just literally let it go it's like your space becomes fresh and new and revitalized but not through anything that you have to do it's it's just because of who you're being it's like this next level self is somebody who is able to make money authentically and who just sells naturally because they're so in love with what they're doing and who they are they're attracting the right people the right the right customers the right clients the right opportunities um, this is amazing for you uh, and I thought this reading was was again gonna be about like what specifically you need to do to clear this story and I thought it was gonna go all through your trauma or whatever but it's not this is like hey be proud forgive um, expect a rebirth you will need to be somebody who communicates how you feel now if you're not used to being in touch with your feelings it is time for you to elevate with that okay communication isn't just a, like it's not just a logical thing there are many levels of communication right so be open to exploring all of them when I say that I mean like there's even uh, telepathy right which not many people know about or know they can do but we are all communicating in some way shape or form that's why suddenly you get a call and it's like I was just thinking about you well telepathy is something that I've I've been quite interested in because I naturally pick up on things and for me the thing that gets in the way is my my logical rational reasoning mind takes me and makes me think that my intuition is wrong and I have learned that my intuition is far better than I've allowed myself to like than I had than I had allowed myself to accept and so for me self-acceptance uh, leading with this it's a it's a great gift and it feels weird because the things that you find you're gonna end up leading with they're gonna be so natural for you that it may feel weird for you almost like uh, almost like you're doing something wrong or um, ripping people off that that word just came to me that's that's not the whole picture though it's like um, almost like almost like you think it's a sin to have things come so easy like whatever it is I mean you could be in any kind of field you could be in robotics you could be in engineering you could be in medical you could be in um, hydraulics you could be in like you could be in any kind of industry it doesn't even matter but when you bring your true self and your true powers and the things that are just you it's gonna feel so strange to feel so natural that's what it is it feels strange to feel so natural um, so it's important for you when you're going through things to say how you feel like right in this moment I feel incredibly vulnerable 
I feel incredibly vulnerable because I have a fear of ripping people off and I just said you may feel like you're ripping people off and that to me was like what but again I said I was going to share whatever messages were coming right so somebody on here somebody who's watching is definitely gonna resonate with that particular message and it may not be for everybody so again take what resonates leave the rest so you've got the black dragon in inverse okay black dragon in inverse light in the darkness now here remember the the one that was the fish so you're not out of the woods yet it's going to take you a little bit of time to go through and do this processing work okay so recognize that you may have this these periods where you feel very very light and you feel like everything's working and you're starting to get it and you're able to let go of whatever stories you have around sales and closing and who you are or who other people were and it, it's going to feel very simple and easy um, but you're going to have some things as well that are going to have you feel less than and like you're not quite ready to achieve the success that is waiting for you like literally you are on the brink of something that's going to be absolutely huge and you only have a couple little things to do like it's it's very beautiful what you got to do okay so i'm going to tell you what other cards you've got all right so you have the eight of swords okay you have the two of swords and you have okay i believe this is the knight of wands or the page of wands uh, i got it i'm not quite sure okay so just so you know i always have things to look stuff up because I, I usually even though I, I know things i never um i don't always trust that i have the full and complete picture even if i've already learned it before like even, even though I do uh, training for sales and closing, right? I still, before I meet with every person, it's like I get things out and I do planning, okay? So if you ever see me and I'm looking at my little cheat sheets and stuff, I'm gonna have them no matter what I'm doing. It's like I wanna just make sure I provide you a good experience, right? Um, okay, so yeah, so this one is the, um, mm, okay, so I've got some, yeah, you know how I said you're not through the darkness yet? You've got some things that are in the way. It's going to take a it, it's going to take a little while for you to clear these stories, all right? And the only reason that it's going to take a little while is because it may be uncomfortable for you to do the work. So, if you're worried about doing the work to really get your get your gifts, get your quirks, fully embrace yourself on a level you've never done before, and then also to be able to forgive Right. If, if you're having a hard time with any of that, see if there's a couple people you can work with. Maybe like share this video with somebody you think might be good with this and then say, OK, will you work with me? Like if you share the video, they have a background on what exactly we're talking about. Right. But it's like you can work together to look at your your fears and your shadow attributes and your light things and, you know, help each other get like the bigger picture of who you are, what you've been through. And then you can like consciously one by one go through and clear some of the stories from the past and forgive specific instances okay um and you will be able to find somebody you definitely will because you are um you're a charming person and you have the ability to have conversations that have people want to follow you and want to be with you and even trust you right so um so yeah you'll be able to find people to do that you need to make sure though that you give yourself some space in your schedule right to do that you may be like oh i'm too busy and we're always busy when there's something we don't want to do and looking into yourself and doing that hard work it's like there's a reason why only certain people elevate it's because they're willing to put themselves through the hard things to be able to come out on the other side so are you somebody who is willing to do that are you willing to like again it's like if you've got this family or this project or anything you're working on are you somebody who's willing to go and put in the work on yourself so that you can become your next level self to achieve the next level of success that really is important to you right that's a question only you can answer um ah, the next card you got was in inverse here doo, 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 doo. okay proliferation 
I put quality control on hiatus and welcome prolific quantity with untamed delight. Quality's cool at some parties, but not when it invites its friend paralyzing scrutiny. So for now, I'll let my ideas proliferate like grass, and rather than agonize over every tiny blade, I'll let the whole darn field spring up. Once we're having a picnic, no one's gonna care what those blades are up to anyway. So this is not the case right now. This case is actually do the deep dive. This is saying like, if you want quality in your life and you want to have quality in your sales and quality in, uh, it's not just about sales. It's about like having the abundance everywhere. It's, it's about having everything that you want, like success and happiness all over your business, all over your life. If that is something that you want, be willing to put in the work and be willing to track your progress and be willing to be vulnerable, right? A couple more things. You got Aquarius and you got armor, right? This is my brand new deck. I know nothing about it yet. So uh, I'm gonna open it up and check it out. Okay, so Aquarius, which I just had and lost it. So the symbols are water, the water bearer, the clouds, the pot, Associations are numbers 11 and 2, um, Uranus, Air, Wonder, Travel, and the Star. Now 11 is my uh, life path number, so that's cool. And um, so the 11th sign of the zodiac, Aquarius, is a fixed air sign ruled by the planet Uranus. And in the body, it is associated with the circulatory system, calves and ankles. In tarot, Aquarius is related to the star, and much like the star, it seeks adventure new experiences and sacred knowledge with an air of optimism. The water bearer is a traveler both physically and mentally exploring new vistas and ideas. Aquarius, ever the rebel, is struck by wanderlust and regards satiating its own curiosity as a top priority. It concerns itself with passion, progress, and knowledge. This card may also suggest that we need to be more aware of our ambitions and attempt to keep ourselves in line with reality. So I have super good news for you, okay? As you become more of who you are, you don't have to worry so much about having that wanderlust mentality because it's gonna be so much easier for you to be able to keep organized, um, to be able to put in systems, to be able to have the right team members and everything. You know how you got the proliferation in inverse and I was saying you have to actually like do the logistical and the details and stuff like that with this and you need to make sure you are on top of things. Well, the thing is, is that when you've accepted yourself fully and are proud of yourself and you attract the people who resonate, you're going to attract the people that fill in the gaps. So you end up with greater results, faster results, and you'll be able to actually follow those, those whims that you have and follow those dreams that you have. And, uh, and say you are somebody who does like planning a lot, for example, you'll be able to put your time into planning because you like it. Right? But maybe some of those other things that you don't like, somebody else is going to do. Okay, so that's fun and exciting. And you won't, get to, you won't have to be held back. You'll actually have more time and money and energy to do the things that you've wanted to do for a long time. And uh, you're not going to have to be so serious. Um, okay, so armor, where's that? Number 59. So, symbols. Carcasis beetle, wood apple daggers. The associations are number 28, 10, and one. Protection, withdrawal, solace, and isolation. Protection and boundaries are deeply necessary when leading a grounded life. However, some barriers can operate to our detriment, causing us to push ourselves away from others or isolate ourselves, which is how, what this whole reading, I mean, it, it's not the whole reading, but it's like a lot of this reading was about that. So what things do we seek protection from? What faucets of ourselves do we hide away? What is the nature of our boundaries? At what times do we need to pull back, seek solace and reorient ourselves without the input of others? This card explores the nature of peace, protection and isolation. It can suggest a need to reinforce one space and peace, a struggle for independence and privacy or imply that an individual is withdrawing from others in the world. So the biggest thing with this, and it goes with, so you got two cards about space, okay? 
and you do need to take space to do this. The reason you need to take space to do this is because when you're in other people's energy, it's like you don't have the capacity or the time or the ability to really just get into your own energy. This is a whole other topic, okay? Something like that I'll do another reading in or reading on, but when you're in relationships with people, especially intimate relationships and things like that is that is an energy exchange that can um this it's not hmm it's not disconnecting as much as like it can kind of cause the the filter that you've got for yourself to get clouded okay now yeah, it's, it's definitely an energy exchange. So if you want to really tune into yourself and find out who you are, you do need to take a little bit of time to be 100% on your own. Give yourself some space, give yourself some time, think about what feels good for you um, without the influence of everybody else around you. Okay, and that might take a little bit of um, planning or, or moving things around in your life to be able to make sure you've got that time for you. But when you get that, it's gonna be so incredibly, incredibly powerful. Okay, all right. Um, you got Cali, Liberation in Inverse. Okay, so I'm going to read that direct from the, the book there for a minute. But I'm also going to read something from one of the Affirming Arts cards that I did. Um, and it's going to be what stands out. Yeah, it's I create my life, communication, and I love myself. Okay, so those are your messages. I create my life, communication, and I love myself. Now, those are very important for you. So if you get a chance, write those down and think about how they apply to you in your life right now. Okay, so Callie is number 25, liberation. All right, here's your message. When resentment and anger fester below the surface, the unprocessed emotions simmer until they boil over. It's easy to project anger, envy, and ancient inherited rage on others we perceive as the source of our discontent. When something triggers these emotions, we can project onto strangers as well as the people closest to us. Nobody wins when so much pain is unleashed on the world. Take heart, for you're not alone. Know that rage and fury must have a place to be expressed. And you can use this energy to make something extraordinary and find a new way. The fierce liberation goddess Kali offers her daggers to help you cut the ties to stories you tell about your past once you have expressed and processed them. No matter what your conditions, your alignment task is to find a way to channel this rage, this anger, these feelings into creativity. Make something of it, of yourself, so you don't create destruction just because you can. Be willing to be teachable, even if it feels uncomfortable. When you know more, you can do better. Be willing to take full accountability for the energy you bring to the world. Callie knows the fierce, dark love she brings will not always be comfortable, and the process of transformation requires rigorous self-honesty. You have what it takes. Now make something meaningful and be someone you're proud of. If that doesn't just sum up everything we just said, uh, be someone you're proud of okay but not superficially like look deep inside yourself and look for those seeds that make you uniquely you I call them quirks because we all have them um, and forgive anything that doesn't feel 100% authentic for you, real for you, or anything that has held you back, either something somebody else did or said or thought, or you did or said or thought, or, or felt anything, right? So just forgive. Callie is amazing for cutting the ties. So if you're stuck on things, call in her goddess energy. And yeah, this whole like, if you want to clear your stories and your resistance to sale, like to sales and making money and having abundance and wealth and that 
having that like real authentic relationship with your customers that isn't built on superficial bullshit. And this doesn't just go customers. It's like relationships, your husband, your wife, your, your girlfriend, boyfriend, your kids, your cousins, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, anything. If you want to have the real, real, real deal, you need to express yourself authentically, be open and vulnerable and let go of all the things that don't work. Okay. Anyways, I'm sending you love. Please like, and subscribe. If you want to see any more readings or if you have a question specifically, like this was about a question and the question happened to come up for me, but if you have any question at all and you want me to channel it, put it in the comments. Okay. I will do my best to read all of them and you know, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. Anyways, take care. Bye.